It's Roy Jones Jr., one of the greatest of all time, Pensacola's finest, an undisputed champion at four different weight classes. Patrick the Patriot Rocco. He's a big light heavyweight fighting out of Germany. Look at this. These fights are so up for it. Look at that. And now it's time for the official introductions. And for that, we go to the Hall of Famer, Jimmy Lennon Jr. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, from Pensacola, Florida, here is a middleweight, a super middleweight, a light heavyweight, and a heavyweight champion of the world, Roy Jones Jr. Hiding out of the blue corner from Germany, here is a European super middleweight champion known as the Patriot, Patrick Rokal. All the talking has been done. It's time to start doing the walking. This is one of those fights. There are nosebleed seats right at the top. And they'd have paid a lot of money just to be here, be in this environment, be in this atmosphere. Good luck. Waiting a long time to square off. Here we go. He threw the hook, didn't land. Still swinging with nothing left. Great counter right hand there. Not too many seats to be had in this arena as the hype continues to build for this showdown. You have some fighters that are big show, big arena fighters, and they bask in this, they love this, they are born for this. You have other fighters where well, this would be like the rabbit in the head. Both men step back for just a moment. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. What a punch. Punches coming from every angle. We wanted action and they are delivering. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Dominance, without a doubt, make it look so, so easy. Well, we've just taken a big breath, and here we go again. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. This counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then we'll strike like us. Looks like we're going to see an early night here. He is rocked. Oh, and that changes everything. And down they go. the corner may have to intervene here because this fighter won't stay down. So he will take a knee here and get a nice reprieve from the action. That 
absolutely gassed out. Didn't know what to do and hurt on top of that. Not the best start, but you know what? The cornermen now it's down for them doing their job. But get through the round, rig. Both men step back for just a moment. You'd like to see more jabs. And that could be the beginning of the end for Rocco. And that's exactly where he doesn't need to be. Nice exchange as we enter the final 10 seconds here. It's probably a round he'd rather forget. Make or break a fighter. Here we go in round three. Who's going to land the first big shot? He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not going to happen. He's got a hustle now. He's got a, he's got a bluff on him. Counterfighter relies a lot on her instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. Todd, I understand what you're saying, but you've got to be on this. You've got to be on it. You've got to be a pro. You've got to think right. Concentrate. Neither fighter willing to sit down on these punches. They're arm punches. They're scoring, but they're not going to hurt anybody. Counter right-handed kick. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. And he fails to score with that left hook. Missed him with that uppercut. Someone use a jab here to establish a boxing presence, but no, they just want to fight. He got out of the way of that right hook. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Sometimes there's no doubt who won that round. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this fight. Here we go in round four. Who's going to land the first big shot? Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Nice job landing with that right hand counter. Both men step back for just a moment. This fighter's certainly not going to outthrow their opponent by any means, but they will when they hit be a lot harder. Todd, we know one of these fighters can knock you out with a simple jab. <laughs> oh, Patrick Rocco right now stumbling around. Does he have what it takes to get out of trouble here? Somehow weathered the storm. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Totally impressed. You know what? You got skill. You got. Oh my goodness! I admire these guys. They exchange punches. Here's a right hand. He 
misses with that jab. And rest for the weary. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Let's see what they have in store for us in the next one. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute. On to the fifth we go. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Endurance is becoming a factor. You can see this fighter having a hard time getting out of the way of the punches, and they're not throwing as many on their own. Midway through the fight, if you are tired, this can be the loneliest place in the world. If you cheated, now we're going to find out. Both men step back for just a moment. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. Nice exchange here from both men. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. Nice counter punch. and shoot with the left counter. Good job. I think it's safe to say one of these fighters certainly has a significant speed advantage. You can tell who it is. Let me explain to you about a fast fighter. A fast fighter that's got hand speed and footwork. They're relaxed. They're confident. They know they just have to quick burst. Boom! In a split second, they've let four shots go. Their footwork has got them out of the way. And these guys are so relaxed. And that's why they can maintain. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. It's up to you as the fighter, and the tournament's got to put a firecracker on that fighter. Get out there and get the job done. Come on. Here's the bell to start round six. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. The perfect counter lands. Lucky that hook didn't score. Left hook just missed. One of these fighters is starting to run out of gas. What do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy? Now this is about desire. This is about character. This is about want. seen all the famous boxing movies, the training scenes, the gym work. That's what it all boils down to. Who's going to have more endurance? Nice exchanges from both men in this round. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. We're at the halfway point of this round, and both of these fighters have had their moments. Still could go either way. man really defending themselves. This is not good strategy. Those punches are doing nothing. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Amen. 
after what we saw in that last round, it's pretty obvious who has the advantage here. Dominance, without a doubt, Meg looks so, so easy. And there's the bell for round seven. Can they seal the deal in this round after what we saw just a minute ago? Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Talk about punches and bunches. That's the mantra for this fighter with that exceptional hand speed. So you're getting in there with somebody that's so fast that you're prepared to take a lick it because you've got to get some before you get in close. He just misses with that jab. He gets out of the way of that left hand. These two are the perfect dance partners. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Just like a match made in heaven. You've seen all the famous boxing movies, the training scenes, the gym work. That's what it all boils down to. Who's going to have more endurance? What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they hope to, to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym. You can do it in a fight. They've got to relax. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Pretty dominant round there. Let's see how they respond here in the next round. As long as they don't get complacent, they think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this far. And they're back at it again here in round eight. Last round, complete domination. Let's see what we have in store for us here. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Good counter left hand there. That left hook misses. When we talk about a fighter having power, don't just look at the head punches they throw. Look at the body shots. That can be the real difference. You've got to be courageous when you're getting in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain there. Can they figure out the combination to this safe? Neither fighter willing to slow down. This is all about ego. And safety is out of the window. Tactics are out of the window. They don't need gloves. They need beer glasses. The way they're fighting, this is ridiculous. They score with that left hand. Good left counter that lands. Bombs away! And wait a minute, a left hand lands! You know the scorecards are gonna be all over the place in this one. They've got the momentum, they've got the advantage. How do they carry that into the next round? You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as the fighter. And the corner's got to put a firecracker on the fighter. Get out there. Get out. Let's see how much fatigue we see here in round nine. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going.
stamina is so important for these two fighters because it allows them to use their skills throughout the match. It can all come down to who's in better shape. Now you've got two fighters that are absolutely shattered. What gets you through? Willpower. Calm, because if you panic, you get desperate. If you get desperate, you make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you get knocked out. We hear that old phrase, second win. You've got to find it somehow. And just as quickly as it slows down, it heats back up. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. Both men step back for just a moment. There's no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. It's the one who draws first blood card. That's what you've got to look at. If you hit and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Well, we know they've got the advantage so far, but how does this match get turned around? Dominance, without a doubt, made it look so, so easy. It's round 10. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. And they get out of the way of that left hand. Talk about punches and bunches. That's the mantra for this fighter with that exceptional hand speed. This can be so frustrating when you're almost such a fast fighter. Fast fighter that can throw three full shot combinations before you've even let one off. That creates frustration and that's when it gets hard. The old adage is no matter how much speed you've got, Timing beats speed. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. And that hook misses. Missing with that right hook. Endurance is becoming a factor. You can see this fighter having a hard time getting out of the way of the punches, and they're not throwing as many on their own. What can they change? They can change their attitude. They can change their, their nervous system. Throw a certain amount of punches per round, because otherwise, if they deviate from the game plan... Very close round with 10 seconds to go. All three judges here are going to give that round to you know who. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute uproar. Here we go in the championship rounds, round 11. Coming off that fantastic last round, let's see if he can keep his momentum going. power in those punches. Beautiful he's stronger, punch. but he's not faster. This fighter is sort of the death by a thousand paper cuts approach. He'll hit you a thousand times before you can land one. 
Having so much speed, what happens to your opponent is you get cut to ribbons, and that's where the referee has to jump in and stop the fight. And you know this is going to happen, so you rush your work. You think, I've got to get him inside close round. That counter scores. There's a counter shot. These two are the perfect dance partners. And he just missed with that left jab. And he misses with that jab. Nobody home with that hook. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. He misses with that jab. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Talk about a one-sided three minutes. We just saw it. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this fight. Who thought we would have made it to 12? After a really strong round, let's see if they can finish the job. How nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this guy that can seriously hurt you? This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab, it can be intimidating. Just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. Just gets out of the way of that left hand. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. Back and forth they go. Neither fighter willing to back down. Neither man really defending themselves. This is all about ego. And safety is out of the window. Tactics are out of the window. They don't need gloves. They need beer glasses. The way they're fighting. This is ridiculous. Left counter punch will score. There's a big difference between being the aggressor and the effective aggressor. Which type are we seeing so far? I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst place to be, having second thoughts in the ring. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Three judges agree, and we've got a unanimous decision. This is the last thing we expected. What a fight. What a style. What a pace to get a unanimous decision. That is mad. This is... I didn't see that coming. I thought this would be tight. This is nowhere near tight. 